an evening at the theater, an afternoon shopping for museum quality jewels. We've shared all these experiences on Chronicle, this time comparable experiences at a fraction of the price for anyone willing to improvise. I love the idea of living on a budget as a novelty because I do it every day. Welcome to Improv Asylum, make some noise. For Alex Cagey, improvising goes beyond budgets. It's what he does for a living. I'm a main stage cast member at Improv Asylum in the north end of Boston. Improv is, we get suggestions from the audience and then we make up scenes right on the spot. Monday nights, KG hosts House Teams, a showcase of Improv Asylum performers in training. It's a theater district bargain. Instead of shelling out three to seven hundred dollars for, say, oh, I don't know, a ticket to Hamilton, spend just seven dollars for Improv Asylum's two-hour show. I'm not saying it's better or worse, just different. And if you don't like the show, come back next week for a completely different experience. The thing about improv is, whether it's the best scene you've ever done in your life or the worst, once it's done, it's gone forever. For Vegas-style cuisine, gaming, and world-class entertainment, we recently visited the opening of MGM Casino in Springfield. On this night, we find food, gaming, and entertainment at a fraction of the cost at Biddy Early's on Pearl Street in Boston, where KG joins us. MGM's not the only one that's got Stevie Wonder. And the similarities don't stop there. Check out this state-of-the-art golf simulator. Hole in eight. Fair enough, Biddy Early's is a bit of a dive bar, true, but not your run-of-the-mill dive bar, mind you. This is officially one of the best in Boston. We talked about the honor with co-owner and occasional server, Sean Moylan. I would say we might be a small step up from an actual dive dive because we actually do take care of the place, but a dive bar is essentially just comfy, cozy spot that you just feel at home in. The many patrons from all walks of life do seem right at home here. They spend 20 bucks for a bucket of five beers. Nearby watering holes charge almost $20 for a single drink. I feel like they're the contrast because we were here before they were. They all work at these fancy places making martinis, but they still want to come over here for a shot of Fernet and a PBR. And the cost of a draft PBR here? Two bucks. This place is great. It's like uh, the Playboy Mansion Grotto meets the TGI Fridays. It's got a little bit of everything. Everything that is except the signature Indian sidecar drink at MGM Springfield, priced at $25,000. It does come with an actual motorcycle. Not to be outdone, our bartender at Biddy Early's gave us his version, motorcycle free. I'm a budget James Bond. Money, Benny. That drink, eight bucks, and Moylan wants to keep it that way. It would take a lot to ring up a $25,000 bill here. I mean, it's a lot of PBRs, I'll tell you that. We left KG at the bar to find deals on jewelry that dazzle, like the museum quality pieces we saw at Sharif Crump and Low. Our search for bling ended at Bunker Hill Community College. So I'm Carolina from Argentina, and this is all recycled glass. That's right, all of Carolina Portillo's handmade pieces started off as window panes. My concept is to work with things that many people discard and try to make things that other people will enjoy. And indeed, they do enjoy her products and her prices. Necklaces, for example, start at just $10, a steal for one-of-a-kind items. I like that, that is unpredictable. So you have some control, but the glass has personality. Yeah, sometimes it's impossible to make a pair of earrings because one might be totally flat and one might have all the bubbles. And Portillo warns if you see something you like, buy it before it's gone forever. When you work with found materials, once something is gone, I don't know if I'll ever find it again. But finding her again is a surefire way to impress and save money. While Shreve boasts this $285,000 necklace. My most expensive item, this is 38. 